is serious, man. This is serious. This is not a joke, Perk. It's not a joke. You know how I am about the no, deck. I'm emotional right now. I'm emotional. Okay? I'm emotional. I need I need my brother right now. I need I need my brother right now. You understand? Because I'm very upset with him. Okay? I'm uh, Julius Randall, wherever you are, I'm very disgusted. I'm very disgusted. Let me tell you something, Kendrick Perkins. Over the last three postseasons combined, Julius Randall has the worst field goal percentage shooting of the 116 players with at least 100 field goal attempts. He's shooting 32.3%. But that is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. The fact of the matter is this. When Julius Randle is shooting the ball well, don't you notice that everything else flows? He's happy. He's mm -hmm. more energized defensively as a part of it. When he's not shooting the ball well, everything falls apart. Ball movement is stymied. Spacing is compromised. Decision-making is poorer. Shot selection is poorer. It's all about him. Now, damn it enough, Jimmy Buckets is about to run y'all out of there. The United States is not playing. He's 33 years of age. He came within a few minutes of going to the finals last year. He took him to the finals in a bubble. He ain't playing. The man is coming to take you out. And what you going to do, New York yeah. Knicks? I ain't wearing no damn orange and blue today. Just blue. The hell with the orange today. I don't want to hear nothing about no orange and blue skies. You in South Beach. What you going to do? He trying to take you out. You Julius Randle, what's up? Jalen Brunson going to be all right. He going to be fine. He just got to work on his three-point shot. He going to be all right. R.J. Barrett is relatively young. Okay, we got that. Quickly, he's compromised. Obi Top, and we hope you give us something. Mitchell Robinson, damn it, I don't expect nothing from you offensively anyway. Just rebound and defend and block shots, damn it. Okay? And get a ball to somebody else. I don't expect nothing from you anyway. All right? By the way, Tom Thibodeau, Evan Fournier, I know you don't play the brother, but damn, if you got a problem shooting the ball, don't you think it would be nice to peel him off the bench? What are you trying to be, Pat Riley? Back in 1994, when you sit up there and you trade for Rolando Blackman and you don't play him and you leave John Starks in there to shoot two for 18, this is unacceptable. Now, damn it, do something. Now, Julius Randle, you that dude. You the leader of the pack. You got your bag. You the star of the team, okay? You got to play better, man. You got to play better. Well, I know you can do it, but you ain't doing it. And you got to do it. I understand Jalen Bruss is important, Perk. But the thing about Jalen Brunson is that when he's not playing great, he doesn't turn around and mess up everything else. Yeah. He's just not shooting well. Right. When the Julius like, Randle ain't shooting well, right. he, he he messes up everything. Enough to enough. He 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 kills he kills the morale of the team with his yes. bad body language, his yes. body and the hanging up the head. But get Christine, Stephen A, one moment. Can we ah, you got take like a seconds. minute to appreciate Jimmy Butler? Can you, like, he's telling Josh Hart that you can't guard me. Hey, how, how you, like, this is the second time he's done that. He did it to Drew Holiday, and he's doing it to Josh Hart. Can we, like, you talk about old school competitive nature. You have to go. And giving them that work. Let me appreciate Jimmy. All right. We have, yeah, we, have we got to go, go, Perk. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about this later. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.